So I picked up this little device on Amazon. I had a interesting comment post that says you can, you know, no no battery chargers in America you can buy. This one you can turn the amperage way up and the voltage way up. And it says if uh, doing a quick force mode repair right here, put it at 16.5 to 17.5, 10 amps. Probably about 5-10 minutes just to force um, a dead battery back to life and then sort of charge it normal. No, no other uh, chargers will do that. But um, as you can see, I've successfully done one battery. It was completely dead, zero. I actually had to jump it with this box just to get this thing to pick it, pick it up. But as soon as it picked it up, um, forced it in there, did it for a day, and um, it salvaged. It's sitting over there now, and this morning it was 12.8 volts after sitting. This one, uh, a second one I hooked up, all five of these were bubbling, and one of them wasn't, and I couldn't get it. Once I uh, disconnected, couldn't get it to read above 10, 5, 10, 6, which means one of the cells were bad. And uh, so right now it's putting in 16.1 volts, 11 amps. And as you can see, we have gray and bubbling, gray and bubbling, clear and not bubbling. Trying to get the light in there and the camera. Let's see if we can do it that way. So tons of little bubbles, tons of little bubbles, clear, no bubbles. This one's uh, bubbling, this one's not bubbling, and this one's rocking and rolling because the positive's right there. So this one may have two bad cells. And with that kind of amperage and voltage, it's slowly working it up. I think I have it set on 15 amps. So and 16 and a half volts. So it slowly keeps applying more amperages, which makes the voltage go up and it's trying to get there. It went from 11 to 11.3 amps. Um, and then you got your little warning light right there, which is slowly getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And, um, but, so if it gets too much, and it's sensing this too much, it will actually shut it off, um, but, it's kicking in a lot of voltage and amperage and with no bubbles on two of the cells I don't know if it will recover this battery which unfortunately I bought two of these Duracell marine deep cycle 180 amp hour batteries walked in I uh, wasn't planning on getting them didn't need two batteries I was going there for something else and it said uh, on sale for a hundred bucks and um, which one was it? Which one was it? I can't remember the store. Autos, I believe it was AutoZone. And uh, could have been O'Reilly's. I, I can't recall. Don't quote me on that. But I just, uh, I bought two of them. My boat needed two of them. So one season, maybe using the boat five times. And uh, they both failed the next year, both of them. Um, I mean, failed enough to where a normal battery charger would not recover them. It would charge them up, but as soon as you hit the little starter button, you know, you do a uh, a battery tester, a uh, proper one, you'd hit it, and then it would immediately go past the bad right here, 12 volts. It'll come here. When you hit it, it should stay in the green. It would come down here in the bad, so it wasn't holding. Now, I did the repair this one with a very high voltage and high amperage is the same battery let me sorry camera view it's the same battery and you know after sitting a day it's still reading 12.8 and I hit it with the uh, with the tester and uh, did good five or second hold did it two or three times and it was still reading in the in the green so I think I've recovered that battery with this little device here now we'll just keep pushing high amps and high volts this thing was a hundred bucks off of Amazon. I'll give it a full review and a link. I'm getting better. Um, shortly, we're probably going to try to monetize our channel and get into all that. Any help we can get out here on this project is going to be beneficial for us. And doing little links to videos and project, um, 
on all of the stuff that we use out here that actually works. Talk about the stuff we use that don't work. You know, pressure tanks, little 12 volt uh, um, on off pumps, you know, water purifiers, what tanks, what reviews, the effort, time, effort, and energy I do to reviewing prod, um, products to make sure that I'm using good stuff. So, anyway, that's it for today. We are off to insulate our cabin. Hopefully get that done. It's, I know we've been talking about it months and months and months, but we're finally moving forward. So, all right, that's it.